Thank you, sir. The next slide lays out what we originally thought that the inline system and the slight uh, expansion would cost. This is before we decided to go back and take an overall view of the terminal, get the full uh, image and vision out, and then come back and make sure the portion that we do is uh, in line and in final configuration as we go forward in order to reduce cost. So after we've done that, the project went from $22 million up to $53.6 million. And I call your attention to the uh, ESG energy pro uh, project and the upgrades. That's the one we talked about earlier on in terms of the energy uh, efficiency. So the next question is, how are you going to pay for that? We are very fortunate in that we have received $17.4 million from TSA for the security portion of this. We currently have PFC authorization for $23.5 million. We will be issuing a PFC application later this year for $9.6 million. And the airport share of the project is $3.1 million. So the total airport share of the full $53.6 million with contingency is 5.8%. And so we are very confident that we're going to be able to uh, move forward and complete that first phase of the project. So with the first phase done, the question is, okay, so what about the second phase of the project? Well, the purpose of the slide is to show you uh, just some ideas on how uh, we could phase in the second phase of the project. Second phase is estimated to cost approximately $170 million. And I'd like to take a moment and just take you through how we're going to pay for that. We currently have $4 million a year in debt that's built into our rates and charges. We also have uh, PFCs that uh, we are currently collecting on for this project and other projects. Our goal between 2010, again, this is conservative, between 2010 and 2020 is to not only pay off our debt, but also create a fund in which we will accumulate $35 million in cash for the terminal. In addition to that, once we get PFC capacity back, we believe that the PFCs will be uh, approximately $7. I think that's conservative. There is legislation pending as we speak in front of Congress where they're looking for $750. And between now and 2020, there'll be at least two more reauthorizations, if not three. So conservatively speaking, we believe that the PFCs will be $7. So a $7 PFC with 1.5 million employments is $10 million a year, plus the $4 million that's currently built into our rates and charges gives us $14 million a year and allows us to issue debt and leverage that to $140 million <coughs> approximately. That's $175 million where the second phase is currently estimated to cost $170 million. What you don't see up there is you don't see any additional costs to be borne by the air carriers because part of what we need to do is not only to deliver this, but we also need to make sure that we remain competitive at the end of the day. So we are going to deliver this new terminal, phase one and phase two, and we believe that we're going to do it with, A, no taxes, no additional cost to the air carriers over and above what they would be paying anyway, and therefore no additional cost to our passengers. With that in mind, and we can deliver the terminal in that way, I think the question that had been asked in the past, which is, why do you really need a new terminal, really the question today is, if we can deliver it in this manner, and we believe that we can, we believe the people of the city and state deserve a terminal that's second to no one. And that's what we intend to go down uh, and work towards and deliver for this city, the state, and for the people. And we'll be happy to take questions. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Matthew, and thank you, Chairman East. Uh, uh, wonderful presentation. I think. Uh, I had a couple of people who made made note that they wanted to ask a question. Director Wright, did you have a question? Okay, Director Richardson, and then Director Keck. Thank, thank you, Mayor, and and Ron and Bob. Thank you. I want to echo Bob's opening points uh, about your service and leadership during the past two years. I'm certainly appreciative of the work that you've been doing, and certainly Bob and the Commission, and along with your your vision, that's the vision for the future. One simple question. What's a PFC? 
I'm sorry, we have all sorts of jargons in this industry. It's the passenger facility charge. It, when you buy an airline ticket, there is a $4.50 charge, or three, depending upon how you're structured, that we currently have on all of our departing tickets. Um, the way you get that is uh, you issue projects to the uh, FAA for their review. We meet with the airlines and consult with them. Uh, there is agreement, and ultimately the FAA will authorize you to go forward and collect that uh, $4.50. The airlines collect it. They keep a portion for uh, their efforts and administrative costs, and they send the balance to us. Well, thank you for that detailed explanation. Just once again, I want to thank you guys for the presentation, the work uh, that you've been doing, and the vision. And as we all know, that, uh, that the airport is, is the gateway. It's the entry point for so many of our visitors, and it's a place where we say hello, and here's who we are and what we're about. So thank you for your service and your work. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mayor Ron. Thank you, and Chairman East, for the excellent presentation and the excellent work you do. One of the things that has been my pet peeve, which I can now take off my list, is the amount of time it takes to get your luggage once you have returned home, and that doesn't seem to take nearly as long as it used to, and we greatly appreciate that. Uh, love the vision. Uh, what's the timeline for, for moving forward, getting started, and uh, I know it's a vision for 2020, but incrementally, what can we plan to see and when can we plan to see it? As Chairman East uh, stated during his presentation, we believe that we will be able to issue the contract documents uh, in the fall of this year, October, November time frame, with an anticipated start for phase one. That's the $53.6 million uh, in the spring of next year, right after the uh, winter season begins. Uh, we anticipate that to be right around an 18-month project, and we are projecting that we will have phase one completed uh, before the end of 2012. Once we do that, we're going to be real busy working on our debt, because uh, that's an important part of this, and we're going to be working with our air carriers. And as it stands right now, conservatively speaking, uh, we're looking at starting uh, the new terminal in the 2018-2019 time frame based on market sources and you know there's been some consolidation with the industry but there's a lot that will be going on in the interim uh, period but uh, the one of the most important parts of the plan is the ability to get debt free and accumulate uh, the cash work legislatively on the 7 plus PFC and uh, seven or eight years is really not that long of a time to plan and move forward and, and uh, start working on a $170 million project. So you're welcome, sir. Uh, Director Hancock was next. Yes. Director Ron, Hancock. I think this is great and everything, but I want to talk about today. Yes, ma'am. Uh, last week we heard from some of the residents in East Little Rock about the weed lots, about buildings that are not tore down. Give us some idea of what is being planned for this part of East Little Rock where you have purchased the property. Some of the houses have been tore down, but we continue to hear that we've got so many weed lots over there and people are dumping and everything. So what kind of plans do you have in place for this summer to make sure that those issues are addressed? Well, thank you for the opportunity to discuss that with you. We have gone forward and we have uh, demolished a number of the properties and uh, we're actually going to be adding some staff to go out there and maintain all this additional acreage uh, and equipment uh, as well that, that we've acquired. Uh, there are some buildings that are still standing and the only reason they're still standing is because we have to complete the environmental on them. Specifically, there was a, a trucking operation uh, up there and we're waiting for that to be completed and we can move forward. But I call to your attention, not all of the property up there is ours, belongs to the airport. Uh, the footprint of the property that was Hollingsworth Grove is not the airport's, at least not yet. We are working with them and uh, to uh, uh, transfer uh, uh, ownership uh, through the city, ultimately to the airport. Uh, Mayor Stodola has been a leader in that effort. And the moment that is done, then we will assume responsibility for maintaining it, and I, and I assure you, we uh, will do it in a very professional and efficient manner. 